up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Aisha and I do fashion hauls and lifestyle related videos but today I'm working on a more DIY focused video by repurposing old pieces that I have and turning them into these rustic clay vases I've seen these vases that have a time-worn look on restoration hardware as well as Pottery Barn and these exact vessels and vases actually acted as an inspiration for me to recreate my own this aged old concrete look requires a lot of uneven imperfect texture and I have three items that I want to DIY so let's get into it First, let's get into what you will need. For this DIY, you will need spackling paste, a couple of paint colors of your choice. I chose to work with the shades Misa Taupe, Aged Beige, Tribal Pottery, and Dove. You will also need gloves, a paintbrush, and paper towels. For this video, I will be utilizing this red planter that I have, as well as these two glass vases that have a smaller and more narrow opening. To start this DIY, I took a generous amount of spackling paste, rubbed it onto my hands, and smeared it along the vase in a horizontal manner. Vases are primarily created in a horizontal manner, so I thought that it would be best to stick with this alignment to give it an authentic look. Vase number one is done and I let the first layer of spackle dry while I do the same spackling technique to the next vase. While the first layer of both vases are drying out, I grabbed my red planter and decided to paint it. Now, before we go any further, I have to stop and warn you that this right here is a mistake I made. Do not paint your piece first, and later on in the video you will see why. The first layer of spackle dried in 2 hours, but if you're tight on time or just impatient, there are ones available that dry within 5-10 to 10 minutes. After the first layer dried, I went in with an even more generous hand on the second layer, making sure I achieved that imperfect texture that all the inspo vases had. After my two vases were done, I went on in the planter, and remember that mistake I mentioned? Well, it's about to come up. I completely didn't realize that spackling paste would take off the paint layer off the planter. As I was rubbing on the spackle, I felt that the paint was ripping off, and you can actually see it right over here. I combated this by just using a hard hand when rubbing the spackle on, which led to the paint and spackle essentially just mixing together. All items had a good layer of paste on them and I let them dry overnight. The next day it was time to paint and the technique I used on the first vase was to dampen a piece of paper towel, dip it in some paint and dab it onto the vase. There is no rhyme or reason to this technique, I just placed different shades where I deemed fit and I kept doing that until I achieved my desired rustic look. This is what the first one looked like and I was pretty happy with how it turned out. I left some white spackle spots in there because I felt that it added to the imperfect look that I was going for. For the next one, I tried out a different technique which I actually liked better. I went in with a light rough layer of aged beige and lightly smeared it across the vase while still leaving some untouched portions. After this, I went in with the same damp paper towel technique that I used earlier, but I felt that the base helped even out the colors a little bit better. After finishing up the bottom, I touched up the top and repeated the same steps on the red planter. Also, my mistake earlier dried out pretty well and didn't cause any other further troubles. I mixed in 2 tablespoons of baking soda into my paint and painted the interior of the red planter with it. Alright, and here is a close-up on what the texture looks like. If you want it to be less textured, I would recommend applying less spackle, but I feel that I achieved the concrete texture that I was going for. I am really happy with the way things turned out. I feel like all of these look like they belong in a matching set, and overall, I think they just look really nice. Alright, so overall, I do think that it turned out really well. I am very happy with it. I think for next time, what I will do is try to stick to cooler colors. I think this was short-sightedness on my end, but I wanted to go for that concrete look, and I feel like going with the warmer tones kind of defeats that purpose because concrete looks are usually cooler in tones. The next time I try this, I'm going to try to stay away from the browns and the reds, and I'm going to focus more on the grays and the cooler tones and try to see what happens when I mix them together. I am very pleasantly happy with the technique, though, 
it was very easy and trust me if I can do it you can do it I think for next time I'm gonna go with the more traditional vase oval shape that you find this one I kind of just had lying around so I went with it but I do think that the look would look a lot better if you had a traditional vase shape to do I'm not that artistic, but this DIY for sure let me unlock my creative side and let me play with it a little bit. But on that note, I'm going to end it right over here. And again, if you need to know anything specific that I used, it will be linked in my description box down below. I really do hope that this DIY was helpful to you guys, and I do hope that you try it out. Thank you so, so much for watching. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!